Oh, oh. What we got? All right. All right now. Relax. Okay. This is a good start. Was that third cast, fourth cast? I'll take it. Decent. Pink lips. Water's pretty cold. Okay, the pink lips. Good for kissing. Well, that was trash cast. Yeah, that was not very good cast either. I throw some a little heavier. Cause the wind ain't ain't letting me do it. Yeah, and this uh, rod here is a Walmart special. I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart years ago. A Luz Xfinity speed stick. Pretty decent, man. For pond fishing. I mean, pretty cheap. Anybody can buy this. I usually just keep this one wacky rigged like all year, all the time. You know, if the water's clear. It's pretty clear now. I'll probably could have used like a green pumpkin or something but I don't know it's a little dark out there but keep it wacky rigged you know depending on the water clarity right now it's a uh, black and blue with the blue flake which I mean that always gets bit come on obviously it just got bit but this is the go-to leave this wacky rigged and uh you know you're not getting bit on nothing else or you just really want to catch some fish some little bass throw this out there always gets bit let's see one more cast we're gonna change it up and throw something else <laughs> well that ain't it let's try that again <laughs> Let's see what else we got tied on already. We got a crawl bait, a crawfish, a jerk bait. Um, I don't know. I guess we could try the jerk bait. It's kind of cold out there. Hopefully the water's deep enough. This is actually a really old jerk bait. I think it was like my uncle's or something. Rest in peace. He's uh, probably the first person to show me how to fish artificial lures. My family was more of a, you know, cork and worm type family. But, uh, you know, my uncle liked to do a little more than that. So, uh, shout out to him. Rest in peace. It's deep enough and it seems clear. Probably get bit on this. What's this? This is a ducket fishing. I don't know, I think I bought this at Academy or something. Seven, medium heavy. Um It's a good ass rod, another best reel. Probably should buy another reel and replace it. Oh, see. Got a knot in it or something. Be all right. See what we got. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it looks good out there. Damn. Good job. Fantastic. What a mess. Oh, well. You know how that goes. I'm pretty sure it just got bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Fixing a <laughs> bird nest and got bit. How you like that? <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you for biting, buddy. It's not even a top water, but we'll we'll take it. Well, there we go. Got the lipstick on. Sorry about that, brother. Uh yeah, definitely a little wider than the other one. A little taller, a little bigger. Appreciate you. Thank you for biting, my friend. You have a good one. Come back. Tell your friends. You know what I mean? I got a buzz bait. Or a... Whatever you call the... Guggen bait version of a buzz bait is I, I I forgot. Somebody let me know. But it's a buzz bait, the Guggen one. Something crazy. Those guys named their baits crazy stuff. Catchy names though. This is another Walmart combo right here. Well, I mean I got this at uh Dunham Sports, but I'm pretty sure they sell these at Walmart as well. It's actually my first bait caster I ever bought. I'm gonna learn to use a bait caster for an 80, 90, whatever dollar combo. Walmart special. Hey man, this thing's pretty sturdy. I always use this one for top water. I've caught my biggest fishes on these. I've caught uh, five and six pound bass, which is definitely my PB on this with braid and a top water frog. I've caught, I don't know three or four five plus pound bass on topwater frog and uh, all of them on this combo here because man this thing's pretty damn sturdy for a walmart run for uh, i think it's a medium heavy but it's a lot heavier than you would think it'll pull one in that's for sure now, if you're catching double-digit bass, you might want some a little, uh, a little more expensive. But uh, hey, it works for me. Let me sling this thing. Oh yeah, she'll rip out there though. You can eat this thing, that's for sure. Right now the water's calm, the wind chilled out. This is when you get bit on this top. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. We gotta take her. It looks barely hooked, so be careful with that. Got him. Flipping. He's a little guy. What's up, homie? Appreciate you biting that. Oh, no, I got him good. Boom. Not really. Popped right out. He's definitely the smallest one today. Got a little red lip.
appreciate you, my boy. All right, then. Thank you for biting, my friend. All right, well, that's it for the fishing. I think we went uh, three for three. I think we caught three fish. Um, we've been out here like an hour, but more than an hour. So, you know, not the best, but better than no fish, for sure. Um, we get a couple of shots with this camera. And, uh, you know, let you guys see the pond and the land around here behind my house. And, yeah.